Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to my session. Uh, this is uh, Nelly Deutsch, and the session is on how to create your blog. So finally, um, I'm hoping that if you don't have a blog after this session, you'll be able to create one of your own, either on Google Blogger or WordPress. So I'm going to show you both ways of creating a blog of your own on one on two of the most popular uh, blogs. Okay, and in the process, creating a web quest. So you're going to get uh, your money's worth. You'll be able to do two things, and um, and many much more actually. All right, so you're writing where you're from, which is really great. Um, Romania, wonderful. My husband is Romanian, and I was going to share the cake. Uh, he just made a beautiful cake. Um, so um, I guess Romania has good genes. All right, so we're going to get started as people come in. If you have any questions, feel free to use the chat box. I want to remind you that box for me is everything. I, I can't not write in the chat box. So feel free to use it. Uh, don't worry if you say anything. Uh, you don't have to think twice uh, before saying anything. Feel free to share and express yourself. Okay. Uh, of course, no blaming. That's what I tell my students when they reflect. Uh, just describe the situation and see where you stand. Don't blame yourself and don't blame others. All right, so these are some of the presenters. We've had Finland, we've had Argentina, Spain, Portugal. We still have Mexico to go. We had Canada. We've got Japan, Germany uh, to go, the United States. Uh, let's see who else is here. Um, more Japan, and I think uh, Turkey, of course, and Greece, Australia at the end of today. All right, so um, let's get started. How many of you do have, oh my gosh, where is my, it just disappeared. Isn't that interesting? Uh, how many of you have blogs? Here it is. All right, I don't know. It says it's in the session, but I don't see it. How many of you have blogs? If you could just give me a thumbs up if you've got a blog of some kind. Or, okay, so Tom has a blog. How many, good to see you, Lidmilla. How many of you are happy with your blogs? In other words, you're happy. If you're happy, thumbs up. If you're not happy, thumbs down. I think I would put thumbs up and maybe down too. I'm not quite sure. All right, so there I am thumbs up and down. Okay, and I see Tom has his thumbs down. Raymond has his thumb down too. And Ludmilla has a sad face because of the thumbs. All right. So yeah, blogging is a very, very personal thing. And I can tell you that I don't know when I started blogging. It must have been in the early 2000, maybe late 1990. I don't know when I started. But I do know that I have too many blogs of every kind, every kind, you name it, I have it. Okay, so um, I'm one of those people, as Karen says, who puts her fingerprints, but that wasn't my intention. So I have a lot of blogs and I started blogs for courses, um, for MOOCs, I started blogs for books, I started blogs for my um, doctoral dissertation. I started blog. I have different reasons why I started blogs, okay? But I think that you need to have a reason, okay? You need to have a practical reason for blogging. And if it's reflecting, that's fine. But if it's not reflecting, you wanna have a reason. So I'm gonna give you a reason to blog. How many of you are teachers, okay? Thumbs up if you're a teacher or a wannabe teacher. You may want be a wannabe teacher. I don't think I wanted to be a teacher, but I'm really happy that I became one. So add in the chat if you want to be a teacher. All right, so I see thumbs up, I see a star. Excellent. All right, so a reason to blog is to create a web quest. 
that's your reason for blogging you don't have to get personal you don't have to feel that you're putting yourself out there because you may not want to okay so let me get thumbs up how many of you feel comfortable expressing yourself in writing for other people to see maybe okay thumbs up thumbs down okay are you comfortable with sharing how you feel all the time okay we've got ups and downs okay that's very honest okay so with a web quest you can create a blog and you can feel comfortable because you're doing it for your students okay I see Ludmilla had to go because the kids she's babysitting um, okay so here's a reason to blog without getting personal okay a little bit of a background I'm gonna give you a background on the web quest on blogger and WordPress and then I'm going to show you how that is done Okay, first of all, WebQuest, this is from my uh, site. If you're interested in learning about WebQuest, of course, if you um, write Nellie Muller WebQuest or Nellie Deutsch, I think it's better to write Nellie Muller WebQuest, you'll get to my WebQuest. Okay, Nellie Muller WebQuest. Where's who from? Tom? Ah, Bernie. Yes. Okay. Bernie Dodge. Okay. Thank you, Elena. <laughs> Bernie Dodge is the father of the web quest. He developed it in 1995 uh, in the United States. He was teaching teachers and he wanted to get teachers to engage. He wasn't thinking about young their students, but he wanted to get the teachers that he was training. In those days it was training, now it's professional development. He wanted the teachers to be able to engage their students using technology. So he had to get them to engage using technology. And so he developed the web quest. He developed it pretty quickly. Okay, he was a very, very uh, smart guy, Bernie. He had he was very popular in those days. Um, I think that web quests have gone down. Uh, not too many people use them anymore. They did in the past. Thank you, Helena. Thank you for sharing that. Yes, it's an inquiry oriented lesson format. It is a lesson. It's a lesson. It's very organized. And that's what's nice because we do like our students to follow steps. And it's a very organized way of controlling um, your class using technology so it actually gives teacher the power the control that the teacher wants because if you manage a lot of students especially in high school or k-12 even in university today you need to manage your students because otherwise they'll manage themselves okay so you really need to keep them occupied so that they don't go off on their cell but you can use your cell phones for this actually all right so the web quest um was also uh, developed by Tom March. Not too many people know about Tom March, and I think Tom March almost sued Bernie Dodge. <laughs> it's like uh, Apple and Microsoft um, because uh, Tom March uh, was a student at the time. He wasn't a professor, and Bernie Dodge was a professor. So Tom had lots of the ideas. Tom came over to the United States from Australia. He went back to Australia. So there was a bit of a um, discomfort between uh, Tom felt Bernie was fine. So the um, web quest divided into six main sections. Uh, the introduction where you introduce the project. Okay, it is a project-based inquiry-oriented activities, but it's project-based. And I think that's important um, for teachers to realize that it's based on a project, okay? And um, so you introduce a project, you introduce the students to what they will be doing as a team. Each uh, member of the team has a task and the team together have a mutual task where they work together. It's like the jigsaw puzzle. Okay, each student has a task and then they put the puzzle together and they present. Okay, so that's how uh, it goes. Tom Arches from Australia. 
Okay, and then the process. Okay, the process are the steps. Okay, that's like a lesson plan where you give your students the steps that you want them to follow. And then there are the resources, which are the links. In other words, yes, you can, Tom. Yes, you can. There used to be a WebQuest module on, um, if you have the old Moodle, you would probably uh, be able to get it. I think, um, when did we stop? Actually, I was part of the development of the WebQuest. I think in 2007 or 8, 2000, no, 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 2008. I think that's when it kind of stopped. Um, oh, you saw it for 1.4, really? So, yes, but you could do it on a Moodle very easily, especially with the tabs. Yes, great idea, Tom. Maybe we'll do that for the Moodle MOOC. Also create a web quest on the problem with Moodle, you can't take it with you. Okay, unless and with a blog, it's yours forever. All right, so resources are the links that you want your students to use for the particular project. And then of course evaluation, what Bella mentioned, rubrics, you'll be using rubrics, okay, and the rubrics are um, a way for your students to understand what they have to do in order to get uh, a grade, because it is about grading uh, still to this day. And then conclusion, where the students conclude what they got from the project, of course, they, they kind of reflect. And there's a teacher's page if you want to share your work with other teachers, so that they can follow you and do the same thing. So it says your students generally work in teams. Each student has a role or a specific area to research, because it is research, project-based, and um, the web quests often mirror real-life situations, okay? So it's actually very authentic. Any questions so far? Um, I think you may be able to do that with the new Moodle, if that's what you mean, Tom. I would check a check in the Moodle 2.6 and let's see if we can do that. All right, a little history about the Blogger. Okay, Blogger is now owned by Google, but it didn't always belong to Google. Um, it was originally a company based in San Francisco called Pyra Labs. And uh, they started in 1999. That's a long time ago. And um, they um, did really well, okay? Um, blogs were pretty, uh, you know, pretty interesting in those days. And um, they soon were able to do so well um, after they had a few falls that in 2002, they had thousands of users, and of course, you know what happens when uh, companies have thousands of users. Somebody wants to buy them, like WhatsApp was just bought by um, Facebook. So uh, Google bought them, and uh, now it's Google, and it's called Blogger. So if you ever wondered why Google would get such a funny name, it is kind of strange for Google, instead of, um, you know, blogger they might have had uh, google blogs or something like that so the name stayed and the rest is history it, this uh, powerpoint presentation that you're seeing is available in the WizIQ courseware area and you can download it and do as you wish with it okay so i i would like to learn Polish. You're fed up with it, and I'm interested in learning it. Uh, background of WordPress. Now, I don't know how many of you have tried WordPress. Some people say that WordPress is difficult. I have a few websites with WordPress. There's WordPress.com, which is completely free, and you get everything for free. And there's WordPress.org, where you also get everything for free. Tom, I don't know why you said that you have to pay for it. You don't. You do have to pay for the domain. Okay, so you want to have a domain and you want to turn your uh, domain into a, uh, into a blog or a wiki or anything else, a Moodle, you 
can um, install a WordPress, uh, which is open source, by the way. You, that's why it's org. You can uh, install a uh, blog on your domain. Oh, the free has restrictions. Definitely. Definitely has um, <laughs> restrictions. That's right. Yes, the org is a lot more um, popular and um, it might be difficult for some. Okay, so you can see it started in 2003. So it came a bit later. Um, then Blogger, which started in 19, and it's open source. Notice open source. Okay, people don't realize it. Uh, so that when you pay for EduBlog, and I'm really angry about EduBlog because EduBlog bought a domain and they 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 used uh, the open source and they're charging teachers money um, to use EduBlog. You can have it for free too, but if you have it for free, you don't get much. So um, EduBlog. Uh, Okay, and they're doing pretty well. Because it's open source, a lot of people are offering things, like with Moodle, it's not one person's work, it's a lot of people's work. Any questions so far? Okay, now, how do you create a web quest on WordPress? By the way, the link to WordPress, if you just write Word, WordPress.com, okay, you'll get it, or WordPress.org, you'll get it. Okay, just copy and paste it, and you should be able to get it. Any questions about the web quest? Okay, feel free to ask questions. Every question is brilliant. Remember that. That's why you sit, tell your students. So uh, you can model it here. Welcome back, Colleen. I noticed you had some problems, maybe. All right, so this is uh, my, well, you can guess. It's wordpress.com. Okay, here's my, uh, this is what it looks like. Okay, there's the logo for uh, WordPress. Okay, so what you do is you go into your wordpress.com. And don't be afraid to do it. And it, you know, it doesn't cost anything. So why not? You know, why not create it? You can always delete it or not use it or, you know, there's no problem. So there it is, wordpress.com. And all you need to do, of course, is um, on the left at the bottom, it says create another blog because I have, a, I think I have two or three, some are hidden. You can hide your blogs on wordpress.com, which is nice for some people because they don't want to expose themselves. You don't have to be scared, Helena, really not. I understand why you would feel scared um, because I have felt it in the past, but it passes, you know, once you're exposed to this, it passes, and uh, and then you wonder, why was I scared? Okay, so, you know, we are scared of new things. And if you are not familiar with this, it may seem a bit uncomfortable at first. Okay, so create another blog. Don't be afraid. You know, just do it. And then it'll come. Don't upgrade, you know, they, they also offer, even though, you know, it's open source, they want you to pay if you want to pay. So no upgrade because it costs money. So you create a blog, number one. Number two, yes, money, money. Um, number two is you give it a name. And notice here it's wordpress.com, and this is the free version. I don't want to customize, okay? You write the name, and then the address, okay, this is the ending. Number three, the name of your blog. Instead of my blog, you give it a name. You can always change this, so, you know. Number four, and this is important, it's privacy. Do you want your blog to be viewable by everyone or only you or, okay, only certain people? So you have a choice in number four, and this is really important because you you're creating a web quest, okay? So it's not that bad. It's just a web quest. 
Okay, so this is what I did. I created a blog called Spring Blog Festival. <laughs> what else, right? Um, and then again, it asks me for money. Great, use this address on my blog for $18 a year. By the way, um, if you want your customized blog on Google, it's only $10. So why would I pay $18 when I can have it for 10 on Google? Okay, so if you're going, if you want to spend money, do it on Google. It's cheaper. All right, so they want money here. So you can say, no, thanks. I'll use the free address. And then name of your blog. And again, and you notice here the free. Okay, keep the free. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is the address. And if you Google it, you should be able to get, well, not if you go into it now, you should be able to get it. It's uh, springblogfestival.wordpress, what a long address, dot com. Okay, is mine. Okay, so you can go into that and see what I did, especially for this class. Okay. Actually, it did a lot for me. Okay, it looks kind of different from what I looked at before. All right, next is the cat's pajamas. That's what it says, uh, Sarah. Yeah, I just noticed that, uh, which is really weird. Yes, maybe I got the wrong address, but it's me. Yeah, in the cat's pajamas. I, I think that's the uh, the theme. Okay, so you can. Uh, go to your dashboard after you create your address, the address for your blog. But notice you can also change the description and your blog's theme. It doesn't have to be pajamas as you go if you don't like pajamas. Okay, this is your dashboard. Now this could be really confusing for some people because there's lots of information here. But you don't need to look at anything. Just look at pages. Okay, remember that we're doing a web quest. Um, we're doing something practical. We're not reflecting. We're not letting the world know who we are, what we are, and so on. We're just uh, developing a web quest, which is just a project. So pages, you click on pages. Once you click on pages, you're going to create six new pages. So you add new six times. Okay, the about is already there. So you're going to create a page called, what are you going to call the first page? If you can add that in the chat, let's see what you remember. What are you going to write in the, on the first page? Oh, you can ask questions. What type of education belongs to the WebQuest Network? Collaborative? Yes, very good question, Elena. Yes, it's um, collaborative. It's also teamwork. It's cooperative learning. It's a combination of everything. It's inquiry based. It's project. It's everything. That's what's great about it. And students learn together. It could be peer review. It doesn't have to be teacher review. Okay. So yes, it's it's absolutely amazing. It's really a wonderful um, tool. Okay. So six pages. Number one. What's the first page? Come on, people. First page. Let's see if anyone remembers. Well, think of, um, of anything that you start. What is the first page of a project? What do you do first to your students? That's right, Sarah. You introduce. That's right. Preface. Okay. So you give, you introduce the topic and you're going to tell your students what they will be able to do by the end of. Okay. So it's not like a lesson plan. It's not as, um, you know, as fancy as a lesson plan that's useless for most teachers. This is for your students. It's not for your administrator, if you like. Okay, it's just for your students. So six pages, of course, if you didn't know, here they are. One is the introduction. One is for the task, the process, resources, evaluation, and conclusion. So are you ready for the test, the quiz on the parts? So six parts. 
Okay, the first part is the introduction, didn't come out. The task, process, resources, evaluation, and conclusion. Okay, so those are the parts. So you're going to have a page for each one. Okay, a page for each one. So uh, do you remember them? What comes after the introduction? You want me to go back? After you introduce it? The task. That's right. Sarah knows. And after the task. Very good, Fatima. After the task. The instructions. And that's called the. It starts with a P. A P. Process. Before the resources, there's the process telling your students what to do. Exactly, Sarah. So the process and then the resources. What will they. It's very logical. Evaluation and conclusion. Think about it. It's really evaluate, conclude. It's very, very logical. All right. So here's the blogger. And uh, in order, I think Helena put the link to the blogger in the chat. Thank you, Helena. So for the blog, you go into blogger. And then you click on new blog. Notice it's also on the left. But it looks a bit different. It's not as dark as WordPress. It's a bit lighter. So what you do is you click on this part. Okay. What does this look like? You could probably tell me because it's very logical in what it looks like, I think. Okay. So what does that look like? That's right, Sarah. Wow, you're good. That's right. They look like pages, don't they? And I think, you know, when icons look like something, and this looks like the editor, it's very helpful to have icons that actually look like what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, so you're right. Okay, those are pages. So you click on that, but before you do, you're going to create your new blog. Number one, you're going to give it a name, and I'm going to call it the same name. It's springblogfestival.blogspot.com. I'm going to choose number two, a theme. I can always change this. That's what's nice. You can change it a million times. Number three, create blog. Okay, so I have my blog set up. Okay, now Helena, it's easy, but the pages are kind of confusing. I think, Tom, you had some problems with the pages. Did you work it out in the end, Tom, if you're still here? Maybe not. Yes, Tom's here. Tom, did you have, um, did you work out? Because I know you said you had some problems. I'm going to show you how it's done. So let's see if Tom worked it out. Um, yes, he did. Excellent. Okay, very good. So for those of you that are confused, I'll show you how. So here are the pages again. Okay. So uh, we're going to start posting, go into the pages. Here are the pages. Now notice here on the left, you've got a lot of other information. Ignore it. Okay, we're just doing the pages for now. Okay, we want a page for each part. Okay, so we're going to do new page. How many times? Here are the pages. How many times are we going to do new page? Uh, no, you don't, Melanie. Actually, only um, the first time. You can decide to go to do a draft. There's something called a draft before you publish. So, uh, yes, and you can decide whether you want to, if you publish, if you want to share it only with yourself or with your friends. You don't have to publish the world. Okay, you don't have to make it public if you don't want to. Okay, so uh, new page, click. Okay, but nobody's going to see it, by the way. Nobody's going to see it. Um, and if they do, they're, you know, they're probably robots. They're not real people. So if you see that, I don't know, 30,000 viewers, those viewers are not necessarily people. They could be 
you know, robots that, um, you know, Google sends out <laughs> students you wish. All right, so you create six pages, of course, one for each uh, part of your web quest. Okay, so number one, page title. Number two, publish. Okay, uh, over here, new page, publish, new page, publish. And that's how you do it so that you have a, a list. But this is the trick. Number one, you need to go into your layout. Okay, and this is this is the confusing part, I think, of Google or uh, the blogger. It's a lot easier on WordPress. So number one, you go into the layout on the left, and you'll be able to get this PowerPoint presentation. You can follow it. Uh, you can download the PowerPoint presentation as public. Number two, you click on Add a Gadget. Okay, Tom, is this how you did it? Add a gadget. Okay, now they're called gadgets. You can add uh, all kinds of things. So this is what opens up when you go into gadgets. Okay, think of it as a, as a, a journey. Okay, Helena, if you're scared or anything, think of it as a journey. You're going on a journey. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Enjoy the process. So you click on the pages. There are other things you can click on here, but okay, you go into pages and you click on the plus. And this should be able to give you the tabs. And when you do that, you get your title, but you can give your title, you can call it web quest. You don't have to call it pages. If you want, it's optional. And then notice here, um, I think Elena asked, you don't have to make them public automatically, but if you want, I do, um, you take off automatically add new pages when they are published. Okay, so you can do this manually or automatically. And then you might want to add home. I added home, it doesn't come with it. But home is um, your blog posts. And then you have introduction, this is what I added, task process and so on. You can also add a link to each page and then you of course save. Once you do that you'll be able to see them. Okay, view blog. You save the arrangement. Here they call it arrangement. Notice all these you know these strange words. Okay, you're saving the arrangement. I'm always, <laughs> you know, I find it really funny. Um, every program uses other words and these are all technology people. They're not teachers or writers or anything like that. So they call it arrangement. We're talking about the layout. So it's the arrangement of the layout. Okay, festival is the name of the web, of the uh, blog. Yes, <laughs> the admin world. That's right, they call it admin, yes. And here you see the tabs, okay? So I only did three, introduction, task, and process. Here you can edit, okay, this is the edit. You can also edit where it says pencil once you publish. So when you publish it, you see I did this earlier today, March 15, you get the tabs and you click on them and that's where you're going to have the information. I clicked on home and there's nothing here right now. Now, what I'd like to offer you is a chance to join together. Instead of, if you're still cautious about creating your own blog, you can work on mine. I will make all of you authors, or admin as you like, Elena. I can make you anything you want, and you can play on my blog. What do you think of that? <laughs> okay. Um, and, and you can try things out, okay? That's what I'd like to do right now, okay? So uh, everybody happy with that? Um, okay, so let's continue here. Um, and let's see. I'm going to give you a chance to do both, and then you're going to decide what you want to do, a blogger or a... Uh, okay, so let's, um, let's go into that right now. The two um, are, okay, they're both the same, 
their um the blogger is what was it um spring blog festival oh you got it helena thank no spring blog festival dot blog spot dot com okay so uh, let's go there now and um and play around okay so go in there and uh, you can ask permission helena when you click on a link does it make you go away okay so uh, let's go there now okay um maybe i should screen share let me screen share and take you there so that uh makes it i'm gonna my mouth is open when you start screen sharing it just stops everything but uh it should be fine in a second i'm screen sharing my mouth is open and i can't add to the chat i can't add anything so let's wait and see what happens i hope it doesn't crash so my mouth is open this is funny okay so i accept i accept okay i hope um allow okay there i am i'm back okay so <laughs> sorry about that I'm, I'm using a mac so it's kind of funny um I was caught with my mouth open. All right, so let's go there now. Um, I'm going to click on the Spring Blog Festival. This is a blogger. Oops, I think I did it twice. Okay, so there we are. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to ask to join, okay, so, um, so that you can continue playing around with it. Okay, so where can you join? Okay, there's a lot of uh, information here. Subscribe. Okay, so I need to go into, uh, in order to get you to come, I think I need to go into uh, the layout so that I can get a, uh, a gadget that will allow me to invite you so that uh, you can come. So let me do that now. It's a lot easier on WordPress, I feel. All right, so let's see, how can I get you to follow by email? No, maybe you can't do it on Blogger, but I know you can do this on WordPress. Hmm. I know that ah, I know where it is. I know where it is. Sorry about that. It's in the settings. Sorry. Um, it's in the settings. Here we are. Okay. Public uh, blog. I can add authors, but I don't know if you can invite yourself. So um, I would need your email to add you. Okay. Um, I thought there was a place where you can actually uh, ask to be invited but it looks like i have to add you manually all right so you're going to have to give me your email address so that i can add you as authors or you can join me and maybe i can get you uh from my list so let's see let me try to get helena helena helena's on my list i know that Oh, there's Helena. Okay, Helena, I'm inviting all three of you. Four. How many emails? Helena, you've got so many emails. Okay, I just invited Helena. Okay, there. I invited you to be an author. Okay, I invited you on my blog. Okay, now let me invite. I think I can also invite Tom. Uh, let's see if I can get Tom in here. 
I don't know if the um okay there's Tom so I invited Tom so maybe Tom you could invite others Helena maybe you can invite others to the blog and then you can go in as authors and basically do what you want okay so you would have to go into your email and get uh, and come back okay so I would need your emails all right so next let me go into my uh, WordPress where is WordPress I think it's easier on WordPress where's my WordPress um, there it is okay let me go into the WordPress okay here's WordPress okay on WordPress it's I think it should be easier um, spring blog festival let's see all right so here is WordPress okay there's the dashboard I'm going into the dashboard I hope you can see this okay and then um, this is where I do the pages let's see if I can users invite new okay so here I can I also need your email uh, okay so um, I think but here you can join send an invitation and I want you to be at authors okay authors so what is your email can you add your email um, you don't want to add it in the chat do you anybody not mind adding their emails and then I can just add you. Did I lose everybody? Yeah, I just did. Anybody? Uh, let me see do we have any oh great okay so let me get your emails sorry about that I I went somewhere else okay let's hope that I can copy it because um, okay wait a sec all right so we've got woo we've got a lot of people here okay so you can invite one another I think okay so I've got um, Let me try to get that back again. Where's the blogger? Got too many windows open. Sorry about that. What a mess. I had too many windows open here. There it is. Okay. I nope, that's the wrong one. Oops. Uh, here's playing spring. Uh, I think it's this one. Nope. It's not this one. Um that's what I get for having a lot of windows open. Uh, a study where we followed a group of children from birth. You don't want to see that right now. Okay, I think I lost it. Okay, I lost it. Let me get that link again. Can you put that link again uh, to the blog? Uh, there we are. Okay. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. And design. No, that's not it. That's not what I wanted. Okay, let's do this one. Uh, a study layout. where we followed a group of children from birth. Add a gadget. No, that's not it. Um, settings. Okay, um, add authors. Okay, let's do it here. Um, who else? Let's see. Other emails. Uh, well, it keeps coming back here. It's really hard to share this. Uh, I do it. I'll do it without the sharing. Okay. I'll just add you without the sharing because with the sharing, it just goes crazy. Okay. So other emails. Uh, let's see. Okay, Elena. I added you um maria let me add you 
And then we can do this together. Oops, I think I added that. Let's see. Okay, Maria. Okay, I invited you. You'll have to go into your um, email. What a mess. Okay. And um, another email. Okay, Chris. Chriso. Okay, let's add Chriso. Okay, because sometimes working together is less, you know, it's fun and uh, it's not as, um, as scary because it is scary for a lot of people. If you've never, Odoina, oh, if you're not familiar with it, I really understand. I was telling someone the first time I took my class to the computer room, I was shaking. I was so scared. So I fully understand. Let's see. I think, okay, Lakita. Hello, Lakita. Good to see you. Okay. So I'm taking Lakita now. Anybody else? Did I miss anyone? I'm glad we don't have too many people today. Otherwise I would not be able to do this. I was counting on that. Um, so let's see. Anyone else? <laughs> anyone else uh, that I miss? Okay, I think I've got everybody. So you'll have to go into, let's make sure that I have, oh, Raymond. Okay, Raymond, I think. And let's see, anybody else? And that's, oh, Fatima, I don't see your email. Oh, I saw your email. Okay, hello, Fatima. I think we've connected a few times before. That's great. I, I should have your email in my inbox too but all right so let's um fatima anybody before anybody else besides um let's see if i missed anyone helena you're there okay oh sarah sarah all right so we'll get sarah as well but i just lost my no okay sarah also okay one more we've got sarah and then we're all set on the blogger. So we can have fun playing around on the blogger. Let's see, Sarah. Sarah, where are you from? There we go. Your name also looks familiar. Okay, so there. Oh, I see uh, Pelicani. Who's that? Uh, I don't know who you are. Um, okay, so we let's see, author or admin. Let's uh, let's see if we can make you admin. Okay, I'll make you admin. I, I don't know what you know. What can you do? Uh, rob me of my domain. Okay, I'm still waiting for nine people on the blogger. Okay, so Pelicani, what you're going to do is you're going to continue creating the pages. And you're going to call your page, um, give it a name, okay? Give your page a name. We're just playing around. I promise that nobody will see this. And if they do, who cares, right? All right, so I'm waiting to see what you're doing there. Okay, so who is Pelicani? Um, who, is, who is Pelicani? I didn't notice in the email. Okay, so tell me how you're doing. That sure is going to come up in my project for the master's in education. What? Uh, can you talk? Anybody want the mic? It would be great if we could share the mic. You didn't get any email, Doina? Um, I added you. I added nine people. Let me check. Uh, Doina, I know I added you. Um, let me try again. Where's your email? I only see if it, um, I saw it. I've got nine people. I've, ah, here, Chriso. Okay, so Chriso is Pecan. Oh, there, Andre. Okay, why Andre? Oh, that's your last name? Doina. Okay, let's try again. Make sure that it's in there. 
uh, Doina. I'm sure I did. Okay. So uh, Doina. No, I'm getting Sarah again. I, you're right. I I didn't get it. Okay, let me try again. Make sure that it's Yahoo. All right. Oh, no. Okay, Andre. Okay, the A is missing. I got it now. Okay, invite authors. Okay, so we've got Sarah's here. I'll make everybody admin. I don't know if that's... Okay, I'll make you admin. We've got four people. Well, I'm included. Sarah, Fatima's here, and um, Chris O. And Tom is here. Hello, Tom. All right, so Tom, let me make you admin so you can... Uh, all right, everybody. So now go and create a page and give it a name. Okay, and we'll see what's happening here. I'm going to screen share in a minute so you see what's going on too. All right, you want to see what's going on. Got a few minutes left here. Um, and it's amazing how it just shows you exactly who's there on the spot. Hello, we've got a, a new participant there. Uh, let's see, blogger. Okay, so you all have the invitation except who just joined us now. Um, no, you're not going to create a blog. You want to create a blog? I don't know if you can create a blog under my account. I don't think so, Tom. But you can continue. We're going to work on the web quest together. All right. So we're going to come up with a web quest called the Spring Blog Festival. So what you need to do, first of all, um, yeah, it's going to be the Spring Blog Festival. Okay. That's our web quest. And you can change the name and call it a web quest, one of you. And then we have, so far, we have the introduction. Uh, what else do we need? We have introduction. Take a look at it. We have um, the task and we have the process. So we still need someone to create the um, resources, evaluation. Let's go to the pages for those of you who may have forgotten. Okay, we'll go to... Um, I didn't know I had so many slides. Okay, so remember how you create a new page? That's how you create a new page. Okay, that's what it looks like. And uh, we're going to work on this during the week. <laughs> okay, so and uh, next week we're also going to work on e-portfolios. So uh, it's important for us to work together. Um, let me just share the okay so we've got an introduction okay the introduction we have task process we need to create a page for resources evaluation and conclusion and then we're going to have to come up with an introduction so each one of you will add something to the introduction. Each one of you will add something to the task. Each one of you will add something to the process. And then it'll be a nice mixture. And then we'll figure out what we're doing. But at least we'll be using the blog. Okay, what well, we want to come up with something. Okay, a task. The subject is the Spring Blog Festival. Now, what would you like... The web quest to be about what would you like participants to do when they click on the task how many would you like there to be in the task how many people two people three people four people okay so think about it don't be afraid write your ideas okay and let's see where we go with this. Okay, that's on the blogger. As far as WordPress, um, we'll have to do that next time. Okay, so next time uh, we'll have to go into 
WordPress and work from there. Sure, you can work together. You're all there. Uh, you've all been invited. But if you'd like to create your own blog and work together, that's how you do it. And then you can collaborate and create a web quest. You don't have to be alone. That's what I'm trying to say. You can play around with mine. Try things out. Okay. Use it as a sandbox. Don't be afraid. Use it as a sandbox and play around. And if anybody says anything, it's Nellie's. I'll take the blame. Okay. So that uh, you don't have to be embarrassed. They'll think it's me. So, uh, Elena, I think, Elena, are you not there? Is that what you're saying? That, um, or is everybody there? You should, Elena, uh, aren't you there? I thought everybody was there, but let me um, check to make sure that um, you are. I thought you were. Um, so uh, if you're not, send me an email and I'll add you. Okay, so my email is nellydeutsch at gmail.com. Thank you, Tom. What a friend. Does that look like my email? Yes, nellydeutsch at gmail.com. Send me an email if you're not in there and I'll add you in there. And if you're watching this recording, send me an email and I'll add you. Okay, if you're not live right now. And there's the link to, um, why isn't it hyperlinked, Tom? Why isn't it hyperlinking for some reason? There, it's hyperlinked for me. All right, so there is the link to continue the discussions. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And thank you. Thank you for joining the session. And our next session is with Linda. And Linda blogs with her students. She does amazing work. Uh, so stay tuned for Linda. I'm going there right now. So there's the uh, go to the courseware into live classes and you'll get the link to the next session. Bye everybody.